Hello and welcome to another episode. So I got one last edition before the bear root season is over and that is a blueberry, something that I've been looking for for a long time. And specifically it's a Spartan blueberry which makes really big blueberries on it. Very a prolific grower apparently. So yeah, we'll see how that does. I've been really excited to get this one because it'll help pollinate my pink lemonade blueberry. Even though they're both supposedly self-pollinating it is always good to have two different varieties, even though they are self-pollinating, because it is really going to help you with uh, fruit set. So this should help out with that. Another cool thing about it is that it gets really beautiful foliage. So it gets like a dark orange red in the autumn time. So that's going to be really exciting. I always like things that have like a multiple purposes, you know. So you get your flowers, you get the fruit for the pollinators and for myself. But then you also get that beautiful fall and autumn foliage, which is just awesome. So it's also a great ornamental. So with that said, there are a couple of things that I want to do to it, like pruning wise. Um, I can still do it. It's really kind of getting too late because um, they are starting to leaf out already. But I would rather have it waste a little bit of energy that it already put into putting out some of these buds rather than having it just be completely growing inside and just all wonky and weird. I'll show you what I mean. So let me bring you in a little closer. So there's a lot of growth down low that is pretty congesting. Um, it's quite weak, like all this stuff. It's very weak. It's not gonna really contribute a whole lot to um, the actual growth and just the betterment of the, um, of the blueberry. So I'd rather just remove all this stuff and instead have all that energy go up into the main trunks and just proliferate those instead. This will help to uh, declutter the base here as well. So I'm just going to remove all those lower branches now. It's going to be much better in the long run. Just going to remove all of it. Including this one will send up more branches from the base like there's another one right here but this is a vigorous one you can tell because it's nice and thick those ones were really quite weak there's another one right here i'm going to remove that one as well it's also uh, rubbing up against this bigger trunk here i'm going to block it this guy is rubbing up against it this is not good Now, you can see that all these guys are leafing out already, so it's not ideal. It's a little bit of wasted energy. Ideally, you would do this when it's completely dormant, but it's still not going to be too bad. I mean, the extra vigor it, it can get out of just not having this all be congested is still a, a win in my, in my uh, opinion. Remove any dead wood that you see in here as well. Which I've already done a little bit of I couldn't I couldn't resist all right so now let's go up to the top and show you some other things that I want to prune so the shrub is pretty big you can tell it's a pretty good size it's covered in blossoms and new leaves I think it's gonna do really well as you can see you have this really long I have this really long branch coming up I don't really mind it I'm just I think I'm just gonna leave it because I think it's gonna be really vigorous in the end um, but in the future I might prune that down a little bit if it, be, if it gets a little too crazy. Ideally everything else kind of catches up with that side branch there, but for now I'm just going to leave it. All the growth is at the tip as well, there's nothing down low. So yeah, this year I'm just going to leave it. Next year I might decide to prune it. But anyway, so there's a lot of growth that's growing in towards the center, which none of that I want. That does inevitably mean that I'm gonna have to prune off some blossoms, like you can see it right here. This is pretty obvious a vendor there, so I'm just gonna take that off first. Come in there. Okay, just like that. There's another one right beside it. See there? It's gonna be gone. This one I'm not really a big fan of. Take that off. 
You can see this branch here. Very, very congesting. Take that right off. Right here. See another one. It's growing in towards the center. Take that off. It is a shrub, you know, so I don't mind it being shrub-like. But certain things are just not good. In here, another branch growing in towards the center. Take that out. This branch is also growing in towards the center, this one. I'm just gonna take it out just to get a better angle on it. There we go. Now we're just gonna I'm just gonna do that all along the tree here. This guy's rubbing. I don't like that. Just take that right out. Hmm. Branch right here. It's growing in towards the center. Take that out. Another branch over there. Just gonna take it out. So as far as pruning goes, I'm just gonna leave it at that for this year and um, take another look at it. Probably a more thorough look at it next year. I don't want to do it too much, but that's like the worst offender. So we'll leave it at that for now. So next is potting up the tree. Now this had a pumpkin that was rotting on the top, so that's what you see right here. Doesn't look the greatest, but it's fine. I had to buy some more bagged soil because I didn't have enough myself. But it has the charcoal, it has the, the biochar rather. It has a little bit of coffee grounds in it and it's just an organic compost. So, pretty simple, but I had to supplement it a little bit. Oh, this will decompose and the worms will love it. As you can see, I also put some eggshells in the bottom, just for extra calcium. It'll take its time decomposing, but that's fine. All right, let's get to planting this blueberry up. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna have to take it out of its pot and check the height and see if I need to add some more soil on the bottom or not. So that'll be the first thing I'm gonna do. I would actually like to um, lower the soil level of this a little bit because I feel like it's planted pretty deep. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Right, so let's see the height. Should be okay. I feel like this is gonna settle quite a bit, so I am gonna take it out and put a little bit more soil in at the bottom here. I'd rather plant it too high than too low. I see my ceiling creeping through the soil, so that's awesome. Alright, let's try this again. This is still going to settle down a little ways. Take some of the soil and spray it out. So that's pretty good. Sitting at a good height. It could still settle down quite a ways. Although I don't think it's gonna settle too much, but it might settle for another inch. It'll be at a, at a, it'll at that point be at a really good height. So that's perfect. Now the only thing that you really have to do 
is also mulch your blueberry. I don't have any mulch, but I'm gonna have to buy some and then I'll do that. So the, other, the only step left now is just to mulch it and then you're all done. Thank you guys for coming along. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next one. Tot de volgende keer.